All right, welcome back to the Road to SSL series. We're on to episode number 19. In the last episode, we got two more of our placement matches done in 3v3. We're at 8 out of 10, so hopefully this episode we'll get two more games done. But we're sitting pretty comfortably at Champion 3 Division 1 in 2v2 so far. The games have definitely been improving, but you guys can see that there's still a wide range of players in these ranks. But of course, before we get into the games, we got to the meme of the day. We have the Shmoey with AJ the Jet Plane. This one took a lot more work than I thought it would, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. All right, now onto the matches. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, for game one, we did get a 3v3, so we only have one more to do after this game. We've got 21. One Goody Re <laughs> Good Goodier Andrew. I don't know how to say that guy's name. Uh, we got Sif the Gray as well. But we got a duo. One's at 600 ping though. Teammate didn't go for the kickoff, so the second I see that, I'm just gonna back off in a net. It looks like we might have another AFK. I mean, it's just a, it's just a. Cr we haven't seen that many AFKs until like, the last two episodes. That's a good boom from them. Wait for the shot. Get a good save. Oh, they're back. Good follow up. Speed, Mickey's a little bit awkward in this position. Good touch from them. Miss it behind uh, Sif, see if he can turn on this ball. That's a great cut. Cut this off if I can. Now, should be a free ball in the corner, and I can get the back corner boost. <gasps> <sighs> so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even describe like that moment right there for me. It was just unbelievable. A rolling standstill ball with a miss for my teammate for the clear. And I'm trying to move forward for that clear and I just end up own goaling. I can't believe that. What a start. I'm going to move back here. Wait for them to get a clear. I'm here. I'm going to get a touch with my wheels. You can see I rotate backwards and it stays close to the ball um, when I touch that ball. It's a good try. Now, I can go off the backboard here and try to fly towards this. My last my last man is going, so it's going to be a little tough. This has probably been the most sporadic game of 3v3 so far in the series. Nice. All three of my teammates, or all three of our team is going on the same ball. i wait behind here for Andrew. Good follow-up. I'm going to turn on this. Good touch behind him. It's a bad touch from them. Should be a shot. Good try. Get this back to my teammate if I can. He's backwards, though. Good fake. I like that, though. Here we go. Maybe one more touch. Let's look, look, look. see if the gray is under the ball, so I'm just going to wait for him to make a touch instead. Hopefully, Andrew can pass this to the right. He went AFK. Okay. It's on the backboard. Necro should have it. Early challenge for my teammate. I mean, I would rather just like let the, the opponents clear that. That's a good chance for me. Looks like they might follow it, though. Good touch. I don't want to take this boost in the back corner. Hopefully, he can take it first. It's a good follow-up. Should be stiff here. Good try. Okay, look at decent control. I like the space in the corner. I'm gonna try and clear this out mid here. Hopefully my teammates can follow it. Sif needs to get up a little bit faster, and unfortunately Andrew is also pushed up a little bit when he should be behind my teammate. I see also that Sif is sitting under the ball way too much. Like he's underneath the ball instead of like forward with the ball as he's jumping. He's pushing up underneath the ball, which makes it really hard to follow because someone who's forward is going to be always, uh, it's going to be an easier time for them to get to the ball. So honestly, I'm not really vibing with these teammates that much, but I'm also just going to like, oh, okay. I'm going to just try and play my game. Stay consistent behind. That's over one. I'm going to stay with this here. Over backboard. Nice. I'm going to sit behind here. Good save. All right. Should be them to stay with this. That's a good pop. That's both players. Nice. I'm going to beat him here. Sif is still not coming back. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with these guys. <laughs> this might be the worst game, I think, in the series so far. I, I just don't understand what's happening. Like, Sif is, like, all in no man's land, grabbing two of the corner boosts on their side. And he's uh, 22 points. I still believe in the comeback, though. We got two minutes. I don't want to just like pop off and like take over the game, but definitely like this is one of those games where you have to carry or you're just, you're probably going to be, you know, losing. Oh, uh, like what? <laughs> I don't understand. This is pretty bad. Good touch. He's on goal. Close. I'm going to take the boost here. I can turn this. I'm trying to stay in front. Try to get a bump or something. It's a great shot. Great finish. There we go. That's one. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to comment too much on like what's going on with my teammates, but it's been a 
bit difficult to work around them. Let's just say that. And the own goal at the start was very funny because it was just a very free clear that was very evidently uh, difficult for my teammate to deal with. To a normal flip. They're still not flipping on the other, the other team. It's a good ship. We can get a shot here. Okay, we actually got a chance. We're coming back. Sif's uh, improved his, his points uh, tenfold, actually, almost. Great, uh, great challenge from 21, though. Like that, that was a good, a good spot that they were trying to catch that ball. Let's see if Andrew can get on this. Nice touch. Wait for uh, Necro here to like make a play. It looks like he's trying to leave it for the opponent. Get a touch into the corner. He's trying to cut it off early. Should be Andrew across here. Not the greatest of touches. I'm gonna try and keep this close here. Ooh, it's a little too slow. It's an awkward, awkward aerial. Sif, man, you gotta ro rotate back a little faster, dude. There we go. Yeah, just Sif is just like on his like, you know, he's just kind of like minding his own business as he goes forward out the field. Oh, good try. It's around them. It's both players. If Andrew can stay with this, that's a great chip. I'm going to try and force out this play. It should be uh, maybe Sif to go on this ball. It's a good save from them. Get behind them. Can't tell if like he still wants to be on it here. Okay, should be, oh, yeah, that's fine. Good save from Sif. Should be Andrew here. Good clear. I'm gonna try and stay on this. Hopefully clear on the field. Maybe not. Good touch. That's fine. It's over the backboard, or the sidewall. One of them gets on this. You got it, Andrew. Go, 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 go. Off backboard. Let's see what they do with this. Andrew! Oh, man. That was a game. <laughs> what a start to episode number 19. Uh, messy game. I would say that uh, Sif was definitely very slow to rotate back a lot of the time. Just, like, not not keeping up with the rest of the team on the rotation. He would be, like, very overcommitted on a ball that he was underneath the ball with. And then just basically stay forward for some reason. But either way, Andrew did play decently. A couple, of, a couple of mistakes from him as well. I don't know if he was the one that missed the clear. Let's see who it was. It's right here. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I don't even know because their name's gone. Okay, anyway, let's get into the next game. All right, so we got a 2v2 game. This should be a lot higher level game than uh, the 3v3. We got Toxic on our team against uh, a team of two. So let's see how this goes. This is champ three. We got an opportunity here to, to score off the side. Did miss, though. Let's see what he does on this ball here. Get a clear. Looks like Toxic might be able to stay on this ball. Trying to take control. Oh, all right. Doesn't want it. Big flick. And now I have space on the ball. So we have lots of time here because the other player is last man. He goes for a demo. So that was a, that was a good, op a decent option. Obviously, I couldn't really bring it into midfield too fast. So I didn't really have a passing opportunity. So the demo is not a horrible idea. We got a good, pretty good dunk. I'm going to wait back a little bit just to see how the kickoff goes. It's both players. Maybe a shot down the field, and we get another kickoff. Nice. Okay, that's pretty good. Both kickoffs we've won pretty decently, I believe. I'm gonna go for the uh, the back left because he has need boost. So I just go to the right side of the ball and just try to like side flip into it. I'm gonna wait behind Toxic here. He does go mid. Looks like he was trying to pinch it with me. I was trying to make that play happen. This guy let go of the ball a little bit, so I'm just gonna challenge again. And Toxic's very far back, so the second I see that, I'm just gonna try and uh, support him. On his way back. I'm going to stay with this ball. I have lots of time on this ball. No one's near me. Pop it up nice and high. Maybe Toxic can follow it. Ooh, good try. So once I see my teammate in net like this, I'm going to try and stay back. I'll try to wait for an open net. Open open ball. Oh, half flip failed a little bit. It's fine. Looks like he wants to take it. He'll stay with this. Get a pinch. Maybe a finish. Nice. Yeah, right there, like, I don't have to, like, change my car angle. Um, I'm just going for the pinch off the ball once I see it rolling off the wall. Because it just goes flying, as you can see. It's, um, the only way you can really reliably get that over the player that's challenging on the midfield right there. Like, he's coming off the side wall to try and challenge me. But if I can pinch it off the wall or out of the wall, 
Um, that's going to give you a really good opportunity to get the ball around uh, that one player who's going to try and cut that off for you. I hit this, hit this really high. Does it get cut off though? Could be a finish. Good clear. Let's see what Golden Scales does here. Big miss. It's a high touch from Alpha Jackal. We're just going to wait for the next touches. And like I said, players in Champ 3, they're still like, you know, getting more mechanical. Hit this over my teammate. It's a little high though. Um, they're still getting like more mechanical as we go up the ranks here, but like a lot of the times they'll just end up just dropping the ball at the last second and letting you get a free save. That's like the big difference between like high GC SSL versus um, like champ champ level basically. They, everyone's like got decent mechanics, but it's how they use it at the very end, how threatening they are when the goal is close. Good chip. I gotta be careful of demos behind. Good challenge. Got the boost here. I think this Alpha Jackal guy's pretty low. Oh, good half flip. Really good challenge there. Oh. Oh. I like that. Oh, I like that. I know he's got a 1v1. Big flick. Maybe you go for a bump. Oh. <laughs> okay, good kickoff. Oh, this should be Alpha Jackal again. I'm already watching the clear on the left side. Who's it behind Golden Scales? He has to get a double touch, which he does. I'm going to try and bump this guy. What in the heck is going on? Okay. She clues down the field, but honestly, it's not dangerous for us. Good challenge. I can move up on this because Alpha Jackal is facing backwards. Really awkward ball for him. I can clear this to the side and then maybe stay with this because it looks like if I just turn on this, my teammate might have wanted it though. It's gonna be bad. Get a 50 to the side. When someone challenges you from the side like that and you're holding on to the ball, it's gonna go in like the you know the combined direction of the two players. It's a good challenge. I like this this teammate though. He's very um he's very uh, positionally aware. He said sorry when he put himself out of position. The space off to the left side here. I can grab this mid boost from the opponent too. I can also just stay on that ball if I want. That's fine, no problem. I like that he's sitting patiently a little bit, maybe too far, but it's totally fine. Oh, I like that touch. And I'm gonna support him here by getting on the next touch. It was definitely open, by the way. Decent touch. Golden Scale might try to make a clear cross, so I'm ready for it. I just shoot this to the sidewall and stay with the ball. Got lots of space. Ooh, okay. I got, I got you. I got you. Oh, good try. Good boost steal. Good try on the challenge. My teammate's pretty overcommitted, but I can see I have a free ball to chip the ball and stay away from the opponent. Go to him. Nice. And nice finish. That was a great pass. I like that. I like that he's kind of like trying to play for that like outplay on them on the wall there. That was really smart. And I saw him. I tried to make it make it possible. It definitely worked out for us. Go for toxic here. Good try. Good finish. Honestly, way better game. Uh, that player was way more positionally aware. And obviously, because we are higher in two v two, that's going to make more sense. Uh, but it was really easy to play around. He was very, very consistent with where he was. I could definitely tell where he was positioning. That's really important as a teammate to be able to like tell your teammate just by how you're positioning where you're going to be on the field a lot of the time. And that, that definitely helps me understand where to be and where to put the ball for him to make the game easier for both of us. Oh, no way. Are you kidding me? We actually got Sif the Grey on the other team this time. Okay, this is our final 3v3 game. Let's see if we can get uh, our rank. I don't know why I said if. We're definitely going to get our rank here. What a finish. That's a great touch. I actually got Speed Mickey on our team. He was on the other team last time, I believe. So Sif with a pretty poor challenge. I don't want to I don't mean to harp on this guy, 
but he just definitely is like as last man there is a little scary to 50 50 that way because it's gonna boom over your backboard be really a little careful is okay, so no one cheats and a great finish again all right so both players went for the uh the back corner boost so no one was able to really support the midfield and then speed making gets like a really good touch I'm going to go uh, back right here. So my, my teammate also didn't go for the, the cheat as back back position. Oh, boy. Rough start for the blue team. <laughs> Pretty poor kickoff as well from Sif, like, because the ball just went booming. He needs to get more center on the ball, I believe. But also, his teammate should have handled that, I think, off the backboard. Okay. Let me open here. It's just going to be open net. There's basically a, a clear that did not give enough time for his teammates uh, to get back. Yeah, I didn't clear that high enough. And Sif was getting the mid boost and his other teammate was on the other side. So pretty open net. I don't know what's happening. 3-3 is uh, not looking good today. And Sif, if you're watching, I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to like harp on you. I think it's just like positionally a couple things were a pretty big mistake. It's a good demo though from him. I got a boost pad or two on my way forward. Nice. This is, this is possession of the corner here. I can hit this backwards. Nice. I'm going to try and follow this for uh, my teammate because he was kind of recovering on the wall. That touch is going to go back to them, but not a great touch, but Jacob will follow this. So I have lots of time for this ball. Actually, this guy's shooting. A little bit scary. I was waiting on the sidewall there, just waiting, waiting for a shot. I saw the guy following up. That's a really good follow-up from him. He's got those little follow-up flicks and touches that will just give the ball back to me. I'm trying to follow up. It should be a clear. Right now, I see that there's a big clear possibly coming. I could definitely be ready for that or just sit back. Both players miss, and now it's the last man, so I'm going to challenge. I can be way more confident on that because of the fact that I am like first man uh, in that situation versus third man. So I just barrel into that as soon as possible. I didn't do anything special there. I just really just challenged the ball. And that, in that position, like I need to push that because I see both players whiff. And so last man really shouldn't be trying to cover that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not a great game. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I, I Skeletor, I feel you, man. That was uh, an interesting game. So we do get champ one uh, along with all the other, other players in this lobby. So not a bad spot to be in. We're champ one, champ three on the two ranks. And we got a 2v2 for the last game. So three, two, three, two, not bad. We got Chrissy. Is this the Chrissy? I don't know if it is. I thought she goes by like Quissy though in game. Maybe it is her though. Nice. Good try. Nice bump. Is this the Chrissy? No? I guess not. I thought it was possibly uh, Chrissy the streamer, but I guess not. Let's save this ball here. I got to watch out for the flick immediately. I got this corner too, just in case someone steals it. Actually, I had full boost. I forgot to boost a little bit. I'm gonna pop it up. It's a good bump. I'm just going to stay off this uh, this play here and just get the boost. That's fine. Good challenge. Great finish as well. I'm just going to quickly like go on to Twitch real quick. It is her. She's streaming. <laughs> Wait, it is. Hi. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Nice. I'm going to follow this up. It's going to be an awkward ball here. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. What the heck? 
Good flick. Good try there. This ball's in mid here. To be a shot forward. Still on target. Let's hit this off the backboard here. Let's pop it up. This pinch goes away from them, so I have lots of time. Chip it over one. And I have space for a 1v1. I see the top left is open, so I'm just going to flick it to the far side. And there we go. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, so I'm going to get a decent 50-50 forward here, and I can take this boost. I'm going to just chip it off the wall like this and see what they do with it. Oh, good try. Good try. No problem. No problem. That was a good try. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so that, that was definitely something that should probably be savable. She just probably misjumped it. Yeah. Play your game. You're good. Leg spike. Yes, of course. All right, so that's going to be a, a win for Chrissy here. I think she'll be able to turn on this ball. If she gets a if, if the guy gets cleared on the field, I can be ready for it. It's fine. I'll stay with this here. Now I have space on this ball. If Chrissy wants it, I'm on the, I'm on the right side here. I'm going to wait in mid. Nice. Get a pop down the field. This ball's in the corner, so it's going to be a little bit of an awkward touch. There it is. See if Zayden can follow it. Now Chrissy might be, able to, might be able to cut this off. A little scary if I don't go for this early. I went I went a little bit late, later than I should have. Get behind my teammate here. And a great finish. Nice. Good finish. That's so funny. All right. So I'm going to try and get a, a solid 50 here by just getting center of the ball wherever the player is. You can see that that's going to be... Uh, I'm just basically mirroring whatever the, the opponent is doing. See if she can finish this. Good try. So I have a space on the ball here to make some sort of touch. But cutting this off is going to be a little bit dangerous for Chrissy. Now she has space on this. Okay. So I thought she was going to take a touch. I probably should have been ready for it. Uh, I, I probably could have been back as well, expecting her miss. Because right here she could have um, backflipped into the corner. But I didn't realize the spacing was a little bit wider than it was. I'm just going to wait for the touch here. If they chip it forward, it's totally fine because they have no boost. So I'm just going to backflip it over the one player. And now I have... Basically space for them to do whatever with the ball. Okay, there we go. So I can take catch this ball on the wall. Stay close. So I'm gonna pop it up. Let them go for this on the side. And I have space again. See, I'm already positioning like wide for those touches. I'm basically just trying to pre-jump or pre uh, pre-play those positions on the field. This is my ball to go for. I'm just gonna hit this towards target with a decent aerial. Great save though. And getting used to being able to like put those on target with good speed is going to be very, very helpful. Okay, so they pop off the wall. I have free ball here. Get it around them. Don't have to go on target right there. Because uh, if I go on target there, they're already blocking on target, which is totally fine. Stay close here. Get 50. See what they do with this. It's fine. I'm just going to loop back here. Looks like Chrissy's ready for it. Good rotation. Good cutoff, too. And I can let this ball bounce if I want to, so it's under the wall. Wait for the player to challenge. Hit off the back wall. And I'm going to start boosting backwards towards this mid-boost. You can see I can already recover a lot faster because I'm using my boost to go to a boost. And once again, I'm putting that off target with my touch because if I go on target with the touch, um, they're going to beat me. And once again, I have an aerial position there. So I have a lot of uh, a lot of time there just to get the ball into a good position for myself because I beat them on a touch that they thought they could challenge me, and they're just way out of the game. Let the, let Chrissy get the boost here. I'm back off. Now, no, she's saying my bad. She's like, no, it's all good. It's definitely like okay for her to take that. Um, like she can definitely take that boost. Like if if I'm seeing that my teammate is taking the boost, I'm just gonna back off and get the back corner instead, and then I'm ready for that touch. So, very interesting uh, result there. I'm going to head over to the stream real quick. Computer, hello?
Unfortunately, I can't use the audio of her responding to this because there's music playing. But either way, it was quite a funny result that I ended up running into a streamer. Either way, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Definitely an interesting one. Uh, if you want to stick around for me making the uh, AJ the jet plane, of course, uh, stick around for that. Um, but yeah, catch you in the next one. Peace. All right, so I have JJ the jet plane here, and I have got a picture of AJ. I think I'm gonna start with fixing up the text though. I want to get this to say AJ. So I think what I need to do is change this J to an A, this A to a Y, and then add an extra Y on the end here. So let's start with that. Let's start with a copy of the Y maybe. Perfect. And I need to clean this up pretty carefully, I think. That's pretty good. It looks good enough, I think. So we've got the AJ part or the J and we just need to get A working here. So let's take this Y, place it over here. I also need to remove that mess so i need to kind of like remove this stuff i basically need this whole a setup with the j like over to the left a little bit yeah i want this whole thing let me let me like trace this out i want this whole a over here and i think we're happy with that let's combine these two together yeah we basically want that i think now what i need to do is clean up this whole thing all right that looks good except for the background so let's hide this for a quick second I need to go on this image and sort of select this area and see if I can remove text. I want to do generative fill. We want to say remove text. Honestly, that might do. That might do because I, I think the text is going to basically. Yeah, see, like it's not bad. Maybe I need to grab some of this tire or something and reflect it behind this. It's a little messy. Let's figure this out. Does this look good enough? I mean, honestly. It's not bad. It's not bad. Let me just grab some of this though. I want this like here basically and then maybe like reflected. Yeah, something, something like that. We remove this part. It's a little messy, but I think it does the trick. Okay, it's a little bit off center too. We don't talk about that. Now let's pull uh, AJ back in here. It's a good start. I think you know where this is going. Let's give him like a 50% opacity so we can see what we're doing in the background. Let's get his eyes lined up. Oh, dude, the face is so big on the plane. It's so hard to fit everything on this face because it's like I have to like liquefy some things. I think. Well, we we shall see. Let's do that. Let's grab this selection. Okay, I mean to take this, copy paste. Okay, we remove that. I mean that's pretty close. I think what I want to do here is just um, liquefy. Yeah, should, <laughs> that should do it. Just uh, hold up. Let's grab the selection again. There we go. There we have it. Perfect. Could not be happier.